and welcome back to a brand new vlog. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all the love you have shown me on my channel. All right, you guys. Also, I have a big, big, big surprise and a big announcement. So follow me on Instagram if you don't already. The link is down below. So you guys, I'm going live on Instagram starting very, very, very soon. I'm going to be showcasing all my recipes on there. So make sure you go follow me. Link is down below. All right, without further ado. Oh, wait, before I start, remember you guys, share love, not hate. It's easier to love than to hate, okay? Make my nails. What's wrong? I have no polish. You haven't had polish in three months. I'm gonna go put it. Come. Okay, you guys. We're gonna do a haul, but I'm gonna just put a light, just cause you guys. This looks good. Come on, Nick. Just, just show them exactly what we do in this house. This is not. You guys wanna know behind the scenes? This is how it goes. Nail polish haul for a grocery haul, and then we have to pick up Blair in 45 minutes from the Palisades. By the way, this is my new favorite color. It's by OPI. What is it? Defy explanation. <gasps> Is that Blair again? No, somebody else texts us. Nothing matters. All right, last minute nails by Nina. Oh my God, <gasps> I really messed up. Hold on. Just do like one quote, you guys. I don't do more than one. You know what I mean, Nick? You don't even do your whole nail. No, if I do the whole nail, I'm gonna mess it up. You just do enough so it looks good from afar. Like so from back here doesn't look so good. Okay. So No, it does. Nick, don't laugh at me. These are nail tips by Nina. Don't get up close. My nails are really ugly without color. Actually, I have a really nice nail bed. Every nail person who does my nails will tell me like I have the best nail bed. Okay, hi everybody, and welcome back to a grocery haul. Here we go. But the first part of the video, we didn't have nails. I'm gonna leave this in. Of course you're gonna have to leave this in. We don't cut anything out, you guys. All right, <laughs> this is my orderly, ornate grocery haul, okay? So I went to Erewhon for the first time ever. Have you guys heard of that? It's like a new chain, right? Isn't I've it never heard of it. Never heard of Erewhon? Okay, we're gonna put the link down below because I like my shopping experience and Nicolette went there and like spent a lot of money. She said everything was ornate and pretty and Blair said their gluten-free pizza was like divine even though she doesn't eat gluten-free but now she's going gluten-free, who knows? Um, so Nick and I went there today because we dropped off Blair in the Palisades and they have one in Pacific Palisades and we went and we had a really pleasant experience, didn't we? It was very ornate. We were there for like two hours and for you guys, I spent $200, right? $208. $208. On? It's like this is for one day, literally. No, but anyway, so it was a really pleasant experience and let me start. Should I start on the right side, husband, or the left side? Whatever you feel more comfortable. You guys, actually Blair and I had the best night last night. It's like something's happened. I, if you guys haven't watched the video, is this going up next after the Blair has changed video? No. We have, oh. the, we have the omelet video going up next. Ooh, we have an omelet video. Check that out if you haven't already. And then I did a video where I talk about how Blair has changed, how like, like ever since she was 13, it's like she's like my little friend, you know? And I really appreciate it. She's not like a kid anymore. She's actually like a good friend to me. And she came home from Daz last night. It was Friday night. And I was doing some work. And I had her sit with me. She worked with me. And it was just like really nice. And we talked about her business plans for her future. And I feel like in a really good place with like Blair now. I feel like we're almost like... I, it just feels really good. So we had a really beautiful night. And with that, the, I'm going back to the grocery hall. I have not forgotten. I know you're falling asleep over there, Nick. She wanted a watermelon. So who, all you Middle Easterners out there, do you remember this of your childhood? All your parents, right? Doing this for like hours at the grocery store, find the right. And then I would go, my mom's like, go get a watermelon. I'd pick one. She's like, that's not right. I need a comment down below. All you Middle Easterners and non-Middle Easterners whose parents are constantly going like this, right? Remember that, okay. So she wanted watermelon, we got a watermelon, and we didn't go like this because we had the Air One representative do that for us, okay? He just went like this, and I was like, this is the right one. I was like, all right. So I got some air chilled organic chicken. I don't even know what air chilled is. We paid extra for air chilled organic chicken, but it's okay, because apparently it's gonna taste better. So we got two of them. These are two, they look really good. You know, I do cook a lot with chicken, you guys, I know that. It's because I really don't love fish. Like, I'll eat lobster and shrimp here and there, but it's not always my go-to, and I just love chicken. Like, 90% of the time I'll eat chicken, sometimes meat, so I'm sorry if all my recipes include chicken, but it is kind of the healthiest other than turkey for you, right? 
I think. I mean, fish is really, really healthy. I've just never been a fish person. I'm sorry. And when things smell fishy or taste fishy, Nick knows I have a fit. It's the worst I, I throw up. Me too. That's you gross. and I are exactly the same. Remember when that's my boyfriend- That's why we got married. Uh, that's why we got married. So my husband and I were waiting here hungry. Boyfriend orders food, right? And it all tastes fishy. And you and I were very upset. I, I didn't actually mind it. He didn't mind it, but I said everything is fishy. I was thankful for the dinner. He was thank husband was thankful for the dinner, boyfriend paid for the dinner, and I was like very upset. It's okay. But I said thank you. I was like, he's like, how do you like your dinner, sweetheart? Nick said, it's good. And I said, it's good, honey, but it tastes a little fishy. Remember when I said that to him? I know. I was like, oh my gosh. She's and then next day, it. he sent me fish emojis. I was like, sorry, <laughs> your dinner was so fishy. Okay, then next we got pico de gallo, because who doesn't love fresh pico de gallo? We got guacamole. Now, if you guys ask me, why did I get two small containers? It's because it goes bad once you open it up. You know what I mean? And one trick somebody taught me once is if you put like fresh lime juice on it or garnish it with fresh limes, if you open it, it still stays fresh. So let me know if that is right, if it's not right, even with avocado. Have you heard of that? Okay, so that's what somebody told me. I just noticed I went like this. Okay, so I got these tomatoes and as I was telling the cashier, I don't even like yellow tomatoes, but they look so pretty. And you know what he told me? He's like, it's okay, they're so beautiful. Just decorate your house with it. I was like, oh, so I'm just buying groceries for decoration. I said, I can deal with that. Okay, if you guys don't know, I love, love white cherries. Like, love. And these look so good and so firm. And Nick, can you believe I didn't even eat any of this on the way? It's because we got muffins. I got a gluten-free blueberry muffin and it was like really dry. <laughs> like, But it was also keto friendly. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm trying, I'm not 100% on a keto diet, but you guys, I'm gonna go, well, I'm trying to do more keto friendly, so I'll talk to you guys about that diet soon and let you know if like it helps me, if I have more energy, whatever. Here we have basilico. Oh, I have to smell this. <gasps> Nick, smell it, I swear you're gonna die. It's so good. Oh, <gasps> you guys, look how, straight from the garden. You guys know I always get it on like a little plant when I go to Trader Joe's, but they didn't have that at Air One, they had that. Okay, it's a parsley on here. These are organic sunflower greens. I don't even know what to do with this, but I bought it because it just looks so pretty. That's what I told the cashier. I said, they look so good. And he was like, I said, I don't even know what to do with this. He's like, it doesn't matter. Everything, he was like, it doesn't matter. Just decorate your kitchen with it. Just decorate your house. We should have brought him home with us. He was really nice. Look at that. Next we have, what are these? It said, oh, mung bean sprouts. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I love these sprouts. Like love, 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 love. And my boyfriend made me a stir fry when I was at his house the other day, and he won't give me the recipe. He's like, if I give you the recipe, you're gonna make it for your husband. And you're going to tomorrow. I'm going to, but I don't <laughs> have the recipe. We're gonna have to Google it, Nick. My, most fam my boyfriend's most famous stir fry recipe. That's oh, actually that's good. Thumbnail. That's a good. I stole my boyfriend's recipe. <laughs> and this is how we come up with our idea. It was all legit. It's literally like, I want to steal his recipe. He won't give it to me. He's scared I'm going to make it for somebody else. So, did we do all this already? Mm -hmm. 30 minutes in. What time do we need to pick up Blair? Okay, so Blair told me last night if we don't get her ripe avocado shake, I'm going to be so angry. Here, Blair, three ripe avocados for you. You guys want to know something new about Blair? Look at what she requested gluten free bread. The girl is like, she told me no more snacks. She's going mostly gluten and healthy. Gluten free, mostly gluten free. Mo mostly gluten free. No, but she told me no more snacks, no more chips, no more like muffins, nothing. You guys, last night, literally, I had a deep, deep talk with Blair and she's like, I'm gonna go healthy from now on. I'm gonna start modeling, I'm gonna work out. And then she made me put the granola bars away. You guys remember when I got the safe to put the snacks away? She's turning like me, come. I have the evidence right here. Look, you guys. I had to hide these from her. There's only four bars. She was gonna eat all four bars. All four bars. Next we have mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got, we got shredded white cheddar because we have a surprise video for you guys. I don't know, coming up soon, make sure you watch. Put your bell notifications on, subscribe and like and comment. And I love you guys so much. And you guys, I'm gonna get more active. I'm gonna cut a day of dental out after the pandemic because right now I'm helping a lot of offices, but I'm gonna spend more time on my Instagram, on my YouTube, on Nicholas YouTube, on all, on TikTok, on everything, because I want to give more of myself to you guys. Whether you want me or not, I'm gonna be right there next to you. All right, Brussels sprouts, you guys, look 
how fresh and ornate. I'm just like, I like the bag it came in, so I bought it. Is that okay? These peaches look divine. Look, look at how gorgeous. I've never seen, like, I thought I always bought really bougie groceries. Apparently not. Then we got corn for a special video. One garlic. Even though Nick is growing his own garlic. Sure. Oh, you have to put a picture of it here. Okay. You have to. You guys want to know, right? Lemons. Parsley. Because Blair wants me to make the cilantro. Oh, no, cilantro. Yeah, because Blair told me last night, please, mommy, make your cilantro lime chicken recipe for me again. If you have not watched the video, I cooked it in Palm Springs. We were very tired. And so it's in the link down below. All right, let's see. Limes. And I love this organic girl. I love their salads. It's washed three times. Obviously, you should wash it again, probably. And this is a romaine one. So it's all washed, really healthy, really yummy. And I just cut it up and threw in a salad in a jiffy. I got some broccolini for the recipe I'm stealing from my boyfriend. Some nice celery. Oh, you guys, I am obsessed with green onions. Like obsessed, okay? I just can't even tell you how many different ways you can eat this. And in my culture, as Persians, we eat this raw. Like we literally put this like with radishes and we eat it raw. So my dad does. Your dad does too, right? Mm -hmm. But you always have bad breath. I don't smell it. That's, That's why you get why your you get breath. To do their bread. Some apples, because Blair said that she's eating like so many apples a day, so we had to buy some delicious apples for her. These are the honey crisp. Ooh, I like the honey crisp. I didn't even know what you picked, but you picked the kind that we like. Some tomatoes, potatoes, look how fresh and ornate they look. Um, some peppers. What are these? Just sweet peppers? Bell peppers. Bell peppers. No, no, these sweet are sweet peppers. peppers. Nick, this is a bell pepper. I don't want to jump. Because you told me not to jump. When these are sweet peppers, this is a bell pepper. Some bok choy. I don't even know how to cook this. But we <laughs> bought it because it looks so cute. Look at that. We'll eat it. We'll eat it. Oh, look at these beautiful ornate radishes. I bought these in Palm Springs. Remember, Nick? They look so pretty. Then these are my favorite bars, you guys. If you guys want to know what I eat for breakfast most of the time when I'm on the go, these you can find it in the refrigerated section of your grocery store. They don't always have them at every store, but you can find them in the refrigerated section. So I used to eat bars that were not refrigerated before. And I thought about it. I was like, okay, so they have a lot of preservatives for them to be able to stay in the cabinet. So if I'm Someone's calling you. <gasps> I don't want it to be Blair. Oh, Blair left me three messages. Uh -huh. Can you pick me up earlier? Um, yes. All right, you guys, this is my favorite yogurt, non-yogurt. My trainer, before he went to law school, you know who you are and I miss you and my body has not been the same, told me that if I'm gonna eat yogurt, this is the best one to eat. So for example, this one has 120 calories for the mixed berry. It has, what does it say for the sugar? Total fat zero, what about the sugar? Mm. Nothing, right? 11 grams. 11 grams, still is a little bit more, but he was like, this is the best you can get if you're ever gonna have yogurt. I love yogurt, I'm Middle Eastern, we eat like yogurt for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know that, Nick, right? But we eat like whole, whole yogurt, but obviously to just stay healthier, I'm trying to get like the one with the least sugar, least fat, and least carb. And if you guys know of a better yogurt, let me know. I'm sure there's probably one that's even better with less sugar, just comment down below. Bell pepper, Nick. Isn't that so beautiful? I don't even wanna cut it so ornate. That's this grocery store, you guys, I just loved it. Okay, so we almost bought, like this is filet mignon. So it's grass fed and grass finished. What does it mean grass finished? Don't put this in the video, but does that mean they kill the animal on the grass? <laughs> put that in the video. No, no, that's not so nice. I'm so, but do you know what I mean, you guys? This is grass fed and grass finished. Like what is finished on the grass? Please tell me. Okay, it's a little, okay. Now, for days that I cannot make my iced coffee, I bought this. Like it, don't love it. This is my second time buying this. So, it's 100 calories. I just throw it over ice if I'm like late to work. All right, you guys, I got an onion. Look how beautiful this onion is. Just everything's so bright and round at that store. Did you notice? So bright and so round. So bright. I think they're like... It's enchanting. It's enchanting. We got enchanted by bought dry muffins. Okay. It is Saturday after all, so I bought just a nice Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, so if you guys, for all you wine drinkers out there, I've been trying to cut out wine a little bit because it does have a lot of sugar. And I read with the keto diet, they can actually drink wine, but they just say like one glass and drink the driest one. So the ones that I know, and I'm not a wine expert, but the driest wines for me have been Sauvignon Blanc or Sancerre. 
And when you go to find it, just ask them. Sancerre is like a French Sauvignon Blanc. I, that's my most favorite, favorite wine. And then second is Sauvignon Blanc. So it's obviously white. It's going to be drier than Chardonnay, drier than like a Moschetto, which you like, like mm -hmm. Moscato. Yeah, dry, like he loves Moscato. It's delicious, but it's just so sugary and it's kind of heavy for me. Like I liked that when I was younger. All right, with that said, you guys, remember, love, love, love each other. Love is so much easier than hate. I love you guys so much. And remember, always keep shopping.